special signal asset approach box. Here we have the same five tracks and junction signal configured for low speed control, approach control, low to medium, medium and high speed approach control. What we're going to do is override the default um, locations when the signal clears up to a less restrictive aspect by placing an approach box. This letter A for approach box is invisible when playing the game, so to mark its location I'll place a brick block next to it. That's all you need to do to change the location where signals will clear up. So when approach control from red is used, rather for a low speed junction, rather than clearing up at the magnet as is normal, it'll now clear at the location of the A. The same applies for the other types of approach control. Low speed junctions, we have approach to red, which will clear when the train passes the concrete block. Normally, it would clear up when you pass the AWS magnet. There you go. Now we have medium speed or low to medium speed approach control. Again from red, normally it would clear up to double yellow at the signal and then green at the magnet. Now it will go to double yellow at the previous signal as before and then green at the block. There we go. Now we have our medium speed junction. So the signal is being held at single yellow. Normally it would clear at the magnet. Again, it will clear at the, con at the brick box. And there we go. Finally, high speed junction control. Signals held at yellow with preceding flashing yellow aspects and it will clear to a green aspect when we hit the concrete block rather than normally at the magnet. There we go. There. Now let's look at some advanced use of the uh, use of the approach control box. Here we have three trains and each one of these trains is routed into a different platform, uh, siding rather. Here's our signal using approach control. Link 1 is using slow speed approach control. Link 2 is using low to medium. 3 straight ahead is not got any approach control. 4 is using um, approach from yellow, hold at yellow. And 5 is using a, a flashing yellow approach. Now if you want the different types of approach control to release at different uh, locations. You can do that using multiple approach control boxes and the um, character field to identify which links you want to release on. So I'm going to place my first approach control box here. This is quite close to the signal so I want link 1 for this signal, link 1, to release at this location. Normally the approach on red would release at the magnet, but I want it to release slightly earlier. And then one of my trains is going to go into um, uh, number four, a platform number four, a siding number four. I'm not going to use any approach control for that. I'm going to leave it at the default setting, so it'll do approach from yellow clearing up at the magnet. But here is where I want my flashing yellow sequence, which is what's set to platform number five to clear. So by using two approach control boxes and numbers in here, and I can specify multiple numbers, I could do two comma three for links two and three, that's fine. So it's a comma separated list as uh, used with many other items. So let's give this a go and see how it works. So here we are, our first train setting off. It's got approach control from red. That would normally clear at the magnet, but using the approach control box here, the approach control for link number one, will clear as the train passes this block. 
there you go. So let's move down and watch train number two. This is going to go into line number four. I didn't specify any uh, specific approach control for line number four, so the train will um, approach as per normal. It's going to approach a signal when the engine starts. There it goes. So it's going to approach the signal, which will put up the yellow in a moment. There we go. And that signal will uh, remain at single yellow until the train reaches the magnet. Comes. So it ignored all the approach control boxes and there the signal cleared up. So then we have our last train. This has uh, or will have a flashing yellow sequence once all the uh, uh, points are switched over. So when the lights come on the train, here, train that's when it's going to start moving. There's our flashing yellow sequence triggered. Off our train goes. So the flash, uh, this signal, which is being held at a single yellow, will clear up to the green if it can when the train passes this um, uh, concrete box here. There you go, and you can see it's cleared up to a green. 